Okay, everybody, this is the unofficial Management 200 Introduction to Business Study Guide. Unofficial because you've been provided with many other study material for the final exam, uh, study guides from the first two quizzes, PowerPoints, chapters, and of course your textbook and your best note-taking and observation over the past four months. So this is not to be used exclusively. With that, let's get into it. Chapter one covered the Canadian business system, and here we were introduced to the major economic systems, capitalism, communism, socialism, mixed economies, and we defined and described traits of each. We also looked at factors of production, things that go into making a business tick, and we looked at two different types of organizations, profit and non-profit. Chapter two was the environment of business, and here we looked at the nature of the business environment and specifically the forces of the external environment, economic, regulations, technological, and so on. And within those economic discussions, we looked at various economic indicators such as GDP and so on. The business cycle was also covered here. Chapter 3 looked at the ethics and responsibility of organizations, and in specific, we looked at managerial actions with regards to ethical and legal boundaries, conflict of interest, influencers of ethics, and the three-step model in assessing ethical actions were covered. Ethical supply chain management and social audits were also inspected, as were consumer rights. Chapter 4 covered entrepreneurship, small business, and new ventures, and we looked at the importance of entrepreneurs, not just to the startup of business, but to the Canadian economy in general. We looked at three key elements to the entrepreneurial process and different ideas to begin new businesses. We examined how important the business plan was to businesses, and we looked at advantages and disadvantages of startup methods and advantages and disadvantages of ownership models. Chapter 6 was about managing businesses, so we looked at managerial roles, management functions, different levels of management and areas of management, and then strategic things with regards to management, such as goal setting and mission. Human resources was the topic of Chapter 8, and we looked at the various things involved with HR management, specifically the process or stages of HR management. Various interviewing styles were covered, and a lot of discussion allocated to unions as well. Chapter 10 was operations management, and it had to do with productivity and quality assurances as well. There was discussion here around scheduling, capacity and capability, materials management, quality assurances and controls, and different quality assurance tools. The supply chain was covered here as well. In Chapter 11, remember this was the supplemental chapter and somewhat obscure in your textbook, but it was there. We looked at infotech and e-business, and within this chapter specifically, make sure you're aware of the different types of networks, i.e. internet, extranet, and intranet. There was a lot of key computer terminology discussed and explained here as well. And we had names and titles for information systems managers. Management information systems were described and defined as well, as was information system security and the difference between data and information. Chapter 12 was the marketing chapter. We looked at the differences between various types of products like services and goods, characteristics of different consumer and business products, the production process, different types of marketing, differentiation as a key theme of marketing. We looked at the importance of the marketing mix and marketing research as well. And then we had our three Madura or financial planning chapters. In chapter one of the ebook, we looked at an overview of the financial plan and covered concepts like liquidity, assets, liabilities, and estate planning. Chapter two had to do with the personal financial statements, so the cash flow statement, the personal budgeting, the balance sheet. We looked at correcting budgeting flaws and cash inflows and outflows. And finally, chapter three of the financial area of the course had to do with different investment instruments. We called it investing fundamentals, and we examined risk management, types of investment, securities, dividends, and different types of stocks. That pretty much wraps up the entire course, but as I said, do not rely solely on this video scribe. Make sure you include it with all other things provided to you to study for your Management 200 Introduction to Business Final Exam. Good luck!